This is DVS MIK3, DVS mic. Um, gonna go over general installation for these lights, well lights, and I haven't done the driver side yet, so I'm gonna add probably like just a strip right here, or right here. I haven't decided what I was gonna do, but um, it's a really simple install. I'm just giving you a preview of what I've already installed, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the sun so that you guys can see um, just how the wiring it did. I did. Um, it's very, very amateur. Um, I don't really care too much for proper wiring, so there's going to be some loose wires and stuff. But, I mean, it gets the job done still, so, yeah. On to the sun. Alright, it's not going to be all the different pieces that come with the kit. It does come with the remote control. It has this double-sided I guess it's clear tape and this is basically what the LED unit looks like and it's connected via this uh, little cable connector. Um, the entire package always already comes connected. Um, I use this random uh, umbrella holster to um, hide all the cables basically in the passenger footwell. I know it looks like a chaotic mess but um, I also used or I had this previously from my, another car that has more outlets, more USB, and basically uh, I use a double-sided, double-sided um, clear tape to connect and just literally tape it on to the underside of the dashboard. Uh, same thing back here, um, just taped it on, and I'm basically going to measure this out right here. Uh, just to how I like it and then attach this double-sided tape um, The good thing about these LEDs you can actually cut them to your preference uh, and uh, What I would need to do is I would take uh, one of the loose unused uh, cables and snake it through the back up here Probably through right there and then just connect it and that should be it. Um, I think I'm gonna get some black electrical tape eventually to cover up those white um, connecting modules but that's pretty much it it's the same thing for the uh, center console uh, I just basically uh, put some of that tape on um, like I said it's a whole bunch of wires it's a big mess but I don't really care I can't really see it at night anyways but um, yeah I, it looks pretty good uh, I've gotten some compliments uh, my previous car was a Honda Pilot. I took it back to the dealership and they're like, oh, damn, it looks a lot nicer. It looks like a Mercedes. I'm like, dog, it ain't a Mercedes. But uh, yeah, uh, that's basically how I have it set up. Uh, I purchased, like I said, some Velcro attachments here, like that. And literally just hid the cables, super <laughs> improvising. I know it doesn't look good, but Eventually, I'll probably move this entire thing underneath the passenger footwell um, once I feel like it. But that's how I have it all set up for this car. All right, I decided to put the driver's side underneath the air conditioning vent. Uh, I think it looks good. I like that there's an angle to it. Um, there's not too much distracting light. Um, you could kind of see most of it in the window, but um, I like it. Gives it a nice upgrade. The lights don't look cheap. Um, the kit itself was $60 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. Um, let me know your thoughts. Also, uh, bonus, this is a Contigo water bottle, and I've found that it's the perfect height me to rest my arm and still shift and not get in the way the entire time so I understand um, a lot of you guys want to spend like 150 bucks on a sixth armrest but um, this is where I've been working out just fine uh, for me um, plus you drink water but that's a little bonus tip I don't know I got this at a Target I think it was like 20 bucks or something so and it's comfortable uh, I like the slope that it has on the top of the bottle and it doesn't get in the way of shifting and it's very comfortable. All right, thanks, laters.